What's up, Average Dad fans? Welcome back to another video. And today, we're talking about this. The Oppo Find X7 Ultra. Yes, I know, I've done my review. But it's been a month since I talked about this phone in detail. And I just wanted to remind most of you how good this phone is. But also answer a few questions I continually get about it only being a Chinese ROM. Another thing I want to do is tell you about the Oppo's connectivity with the OnePlus Watch 2. And while I'm at it, I want to give away these. Yes, on my OnePlus Watch 2 video, I promised I would be giving away a pair of OnePlus Buds 3. I have the winner. Stay tuned to near the end of the video to find out if you are indeed the lucky winner. Let's go. So to get started, I want to stick with the Find X7 Ultra, the joint best phone of 2024 so far, based on my point system, but also just based on my personal opinion. I absolutely love the device. It scored high in every category. The only real letdown is that Oppo have 100% confirmed that the X7 Ultra will not be released globally. However, the X8 Ultra will be. So there's light at the end of the tunnel. So answering some of the questions regarding what a Chinese ROM means. I know for a lot of you, you know this, you've watched my channel. This is what my channel is a lot about. It's a lot about how to get a Chinese ROM functioning here in the UK, Europe or US. So if you want to skip forward a minute or two while I talk about the differences in ROMs, feel free. The Chinese ROM will not get Android Auto or smartwatch connectivity. And that leads me on to the OnePlus Watch 2. I was basically 100% convinced that because Oppo own OnePlus, the OnePlus Watch 2 would pair seamlessly with the Find X7 Ultra. So I got this latest X7 Ultra. Keen-eyed among you will know I had the two-tone black color before. However, that was sold to a subscriber for a discount. This will also be sold to someone that wants it for a very nice discount. But using this one and pairing it with my OnePlus Watch 2 was not possible. Unfortunately, the OnePlus Watch 2, while it appears in the menu for paired devices in the OHealth app, doesn't actually work. So as mentioned, the global ROM versus the Chinese ROM, you will not get your smartwatch to connect. If you have an Oppo watch or a Huawei watch, that'll connect just fine. Now the other big difference and really other only difference for all is Android Auto. You will not get Android Auto to work no matter how hard you try. It's a functionality based on the read-only memory. It ain't going to work with that Chinese version. They have their own versions. Oppo have their own version of Car Connect. It just ain't going to happen. However, for majority of the viewers to this channel, smartwatch connectivity, Android Auto, we can get by without it. And because of that reason, this puts the X7 Ultra as mentioned, at the top of the tree, along with the S24 Ultra. Now, there is another area I want to talk about regarding connectivity, and it's 4G. This is a case-by-case -case scenario, folks. I get so many comments talking about Band 20 and it not working in the UK. Guys, I can't... Maybe I'll just make a dedicated video on this. In fact, I probably should. But to sum it up, if you are in a 5G area, every single network will work fine, perfectly. You will get full 5G speeds. If you are in a 4G only zone, it's network dependent. I use a company called Sky Mobile here in the UK who are a branch of the O2 network, and I get full 4G signal when I'm not connected to 5G mast. However, I know that some networks, such as Vodafone, 
don't get full 4G, they're pushed down to 3G. So there are connectivity, connection worries that are absolutely worth considering. All I can tell you is to do your research, speak to your provider, go on forums and find out. If you don't have 5G near you, do all that research. If you're in a 5G area, take advantage of the massive savings and buy yourself a Chinese ROM device. Now, I mentioned it's been about a month of having the X7 Ultra, if not a bit more, and there's a few key areas I just want to go over again, especially since owning the Honor Magic 6 Pro. First, the zoom lens. I'm not going to go into depth about all the other cameras. I've done a camera test, I've done a review, and I'll be doing another camera test in comparison when I get the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. But I want to focus on zoom because that's a hot topic on my videos and in my comments recently. Because of the false advertising of Honor, and they've basically just shamed themselves with that zoom, I thought it was probably a nice idea to highlight Oppo's zoom lens and how they didn't false advertise. How, to be fair, they've probably underplayed it. Here is my typical bedroom shot at ultra wide, okay? Now, I want you to pay particular attention to that green circle because here is an almost, and I should clarify, this isn't even full times zoom. There's still another few times to go. But here is the almost maxed out zoom on the Find X7 Ultra. Not doctored in any way. This ultra wide shot zoomed in to this telephoto shot. Now, unfortunately, I have returned my Honor Magic 6 Pro. But trust me, that same shot would have just, well, done more damage to Honor than I want to do because I love Honor as a company. But I will always call out good points and bad points about phone because that's the point of my channel. So zoom on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra is class leading. Arguably along there with the S24 Ultra and the X100 Pro from Vivo. But you could also argue it's maybe even the best even over those two. Another area I wanted to highlight on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra is the display. The display is the best display, the sharpest display, the highest resolution display on the market. At 510 ppi, it is 15% sharper and higher resolution than the Honor Magic 6 Pro. It's Quad HD+. Plus. Another comment I've seen a few times in the in the comments is about the Honor Magic 6 Pro not having full HD, it's a quad HD display. I don't know what to say to that, guys. You're, you're just wrong. It's not a quad HD display. The S24 Ultra and the X7 Ultra are. And while my eyes, certainly not my eyes, they're rubbish, but while human eyes can't really tell most of the time, in certain situations with movies and HDR content, you notice. And as you can see here, the display on this device is just stunning. And while I'm at the whole consuming media, if you don't want to plug your headphones in with Bluetooth, when I say plug your headphones in, I, I know that there's no jack, but if you don't want to connect with Bluetooth headphones and you want to rely on the speakers, I had one commenter say that could I do a comparison or could I show off the speakers, not with a song, but with like a podcast? Yes, here you go. Here's how the speakers sound listening to one of my favorites, the Joe Rogan podcast. You know, the no win situation was create a scenario where he wins, which is cool, which is a cool character. You know, that's a cool character move. But like, that's kind of how I felt. Uh, that's what they would say. Don't do that to Batman. Don't put him in a no win situation because we don't want to see him lose. Like we can't see him lose. He has to maintain this godlike status. And that's what the cool thing about Frank Miller, Frank Miller said, fuck it. I'm going to like, I'm going to, I want to see who this guy, re like if, if a guy, so you're saying to me that I've got a gun to this kid's head. You're back. Again, 
outstanding class leading speakers on a candy bar phone. Now, does the Nubia Z60 Ultra have just as good speakers? Yes, in some situations, they're maybe even a bit better. But the X7 Ultra is, again, up there near, if not at the very top. And then the final thing I want to discuss, and I've discussed this before, but the key benefits for importing a Chinese ROM is the cost you're going to save in your pocket. And nowadays, more than ever, saving money is very important. So, if you want to go for a 256 gigabyte version of the X7 Ultra, you can get that for £720. Yes, a £530 saving over the equivalent storage S24 Ultra. You want to go for the half terabyte of storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM, you can get that for about £780. Yes, this is a £570 saving over the equivalent S24 Ultra. And like I said during this video, if you don't care about your smartwatch connecting Android Auto and you're in a 5G area, it makes almost zero sense for you not to consider this phone. And if you're going to buy Wanda Mobile up here, I get $10 for every sale. If you pay by bank transfer, you'll get 3.8% off. It just helps support the channel. But if you're not going to use my link, I would still highly recommend going to Wanda Mobile. Now, the part of the video some of you have been waiting for, the giveaway. I love doing these giveaways because I just like to give away stuff when I can. And when my channel gets bigger and bigger, I'm going to give away bigger and bigger things because it's good fun to do. With this giveaway, however, there was a bit of a flaw in my logic. I had given a 10-digit code throughout my video. However, when literally hundreds of you tried to comment the number, YouTube automatically removed it. Folks, it wasn't me. YouTube thought that people were spamming a phone number in the comments, so they just automatically removed them, which in my opinion is fantastically good for your security that YouTube remove it because it could have been your phone number, for example. But alas, it wasn't. So in my next giveaway, I'll be sure to make it a word that you have to comment, not a number. However, there was some geniuses that got around how to leave the number in the comments. There was also a few people that commented on Instagram. A lot of you were a couple of numbers short and I did make it super hard. Next time I'll make it a bit easier. But for those that did get the right number, there was about 25 of you. Well done. You have more patience than I. However, I have picked a winner at complete random. I have no idea where you live on the planet, but I will ship the buds. Dunk in Moj. D-U-N-K-M... D-U-N-K-N-M-O-G. Here's your avatar. This is for you. What you need to do is message me on Instagram. Here is my handle. Direct message me your address and I'll get these shipped out to you next week. If you're in the UK, they'll get shipped out next day delivery. So that was it, folks. An update on the giveaway, an update on one of the best phones ever created, and also a thank you. I asked very nicely last month if we could somehow get to 20,000 subscribers. We have. Now, we, the Average Dad channel has now reached 20,000 subscribers. Absolutely mind-blowing. Thank you very much. You know what I'm going to ask now? Can we get 25k subscribers by the end of this month? No. I seriously love creating this content and the fact that you seem to be enjoying it, which is showing in the engagement, the views, yeah, means a lot. Anyway, before I get too soppy, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back soon with more content on the X7 Ultra, the S24 Ultra, the Xiaomi 14 Ultra and a particular Fold phone or two from Vivo. Until next time.